Did you know that the largest gem quality diamond ever found is the Cullinan diamond, weighing a whopping 3,106 carats? That's equivalent to 1.37 pounds. Welcome, gem enthusiasts, to a world of sparkling wonders. A universe where miracles of nature are compressed into dazzling stones of different hues and facets. From the fiery red of rubies to the cool allure of sapphires, gemstones have always held a special place in our hearts and history. Their brilliance has captivated civilizations, while their unique properties have found uses in various fields, from jewelry to technology. Each gemstone, with its unique color, hardness, and luster, is a testament to the beauty and diversity of our planet. These shimmering treasures are not just symbols of affluence, but also of culture, art, and science. But with such a vast array of gemstones, the question arises, how do we tell them apart? Stay tuned to learn some DIY gemstone identification tips and tricks. Every gemstone is unique, just like fingerprints. They each have their own set of characteristics that set them apart. Let's delve into some of these fascinating traits and see how they can assist us in the identification of our precious stones. First off, color. It's the most obvious characteristic and often the first one we notice. For instance, the deep blue of a sapphire or the vibrant green of an emerald are hard to miss. But it's important to remember that color alone can't confirm a gemstone's identity, as many stones come in a range of hues. Next up, hardness. This is a measure of a gemstone's resistance to scratches. A diamond, for example, is the hardest known mineral and sits at the top of the Mohs scale of hardness, a scale that ranks minerals from 1 to 10. So if you can't scratch it, there's a good chance it could be a diamond. Then we have luster, which refers to the way light interacts with the surface of a gemstone. Some gemstones, like the diamond again, have an adamantine luster, giving them that brilliant sparkle we all love. Others, like pearls, have a more subdued, silky luster. And let's not forget density. This is a measure of how much a gemstone weighs for its size. It's a little trickier to determine without specific tools, but it can be a useful characteristic for gemstone identification. Take a ruby, for instance. It's denser than many other gemstones, so a ruby of the same size as another gem will weigh more. And that's a handy tip to have up your sleeve. Now these are just a few examples of the many characteristics that gemstones can have. Each one tells a part of the story of where a gemstone came from and how it was formed, which is part of the magic of these beautiful treasures. Understanding these characteristics is the first step to identifying gemstones, but there's more to it than that. Now that we know the basics, it's time to put our knowledge to the test. Gemstone testing is a fascinating process that allows us to uncover the secrets hidden within these natural wonders. There are several ways to do this, and today, we'll delve into three of the most common methods, the scratch test, the water test, and the light test. Let's start with the scratch test. It's as simple as it sounds. By gently scratching a gemstone with a tool of known hardness, we can determine its own hardness. This is based on the Mohs scale, which ranks minerals from 1 to 10 in terms of hardness. For example, if a gemstone can be scratched by a copper coin but not by a steel nail, its hardness falls between 3 and 5 on the Mohs scale. Next is the water test, which can reveal a gemstone's density. To conduct this test, you'll need a container of water and a weighing scale. First, weigh the gemstone in air and then weigh it in water. By comparing these two weights, you can calculate the gemstone's specific gravity, which can offer clues to its identity. Lastly, the light test. This test looks at how light interacts with a gemstone. Some gemstones refract light in unique ways, creating what we call a double refraction effect. Others may demonstrate specific colors under ultraviolet light, a phenomenon known as fluorescence. Remember, no single test can definitively identify a gemstone. It's the combination of these tests, along with the gemstone's physical characteristics that we discussed earlier, that can lead you to a more accurate identification. And while these tests can be performed at home, professional gemologists have access to advanced equipment that can provide more detailed and accurate results. With these tests, you're well on your way to becoming a gemstone identification expert. But we've got a few more tips to share. So stay tuned as we continue our journey into the captivating world of gemstones. Identifying gemstones can seem like a daunting task, but with these tips and tricks, you'll be a pro in no time. Let's start with one of the most effective ways to identify gemstones, viewing them under different light sources. 
The way a gemstone interacts with light can tell you a lot about its identity. For instance, some gemstones like opals can display a rainbow of colors when viewed under certain lights, a phenomenon known as play of color. Other stones, such as rubies and sapphires, might change their color entirely under different lighting conditions. So, always make sure to inspect your gemstone under a variety of light sources, including natural daylight and artificial light. Next, let's talk about inclusions. Inclusions are tiny imperfections or birthmarks inside a gemstone that often provide clues about its identity. For example, emeralds often have inclusions that look like tiny ferns, while garnets might have inclusions that resemble horsetail hairs. Using a jeweler's loop, a small handheld magnifying glass can help you spot these telltale signs. Another important factor to consider when identifying gemstones is the location where they were found. Certain regions around the world are known for producing specific types of gemstones. For instance, Colombia is renowned for its emeralds, while Australia is famous for its opals. If you know where a gemstone was found, it can help narrow down the possibilities, but remember, these are just guidelines. Gemstone identification is as much an art as it is a science. It's about honing your observation skills and developing an understanding of the unique characteristics that make each gemstone special. Finally, don't forget that practice is key. The world of gemstones is vast and diverse, and the more you immerse yourself in it, the more you'll learn. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep practicing. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice identifying gemstones, the better you'll get. Gemstones are more than just pretty to look at. They're a testament to the wonders of nature and the beauty it holds. Imagine a world beneath your feet, where over millions of years nature has been quietly crafting treasures. These treasures, diverse in color, shape, and size, are patiently waiting beneath the layers of the earth to be discovered. This is the world of gemstones, an embodiment of the magic of nature. The joy of gemstones is more than just the thrill of discovery. It's the satisfaction of understanding. It's like being a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you're unraveling the secrets of nature. Each gemstone has a story to tell, a journey it has taken from the heart of the earth to the palm of your hand. And when you identify a gemstone, you become a part of that story. Imagine holding a sapphire as blue as the deepest ocean. When you know what it is, you're not just seeing a pretty stone. You're witnessing the result of countless years of geological processes. You understand that its color comes from traces of elements like iron and titanium. You appreciate it not just for its beauty, but also for the incredible journey it has taken to reach you or consider a ruby, red as a sunset. When you identify it, you're not just looking at a shiny stone, you're seeing a symbol of passion and love. You know that its red color comes from the element chromium. And as you hold it, you can almost feel the heat and pressure it endured deep within the earth to become the gemstone it is today. The joy of gemstones is also in the sharing. When you can identify a gemstone, you can share its story with others. You can inspire in them the same wonder and appreciation that you feel. It's an opportunity to connect with others over something truly extraordinary. But perhaps the greatest joy of gemstones is the endless learning. The world of gemstones is vast and diverse, and there's always something new to discover. Every gemstone is a new mystery to solve, a new story to uncover. It's a journey of learning that can last a lifetime. And the more you learn, the deeper your appreciation becomes. So why limit yourself to just admiring the beauty of gemstones. Dive deeper, learn their stories, uncover their secrets. The joy of identifying and understanding gemstones is a joy that keeps on giving. It's a journey that takes you beyond the surface into a world of beauty, mystery, and wonder. So why wait? Start your gemstone identification journey today and unlock a world of sparkling wonders.